money disagreeing with Jimmy. If I just, if I just, all I cared about was money and go, I'd, I'd agree with him, but I'm not going to do that. I am only going to talk about what I believe in. And I don't, if you don't believe me or you don't like me, whatever, I'm saying what I believe in. No one's in my ear. Okay. And I know Jimmy was getting money from Peter Allard, who is a billionaire that was paying some indie, he was supposedly a progressive. He was paying Jimmy what I was told was five grand a month. And then I heard this Peter Allard guy during the whole vaccine thing in 2021 told at several shows that he was paying, hey, I need you to push this anti-vaccine stuff. And several of the shows said, I don't want your money more. We're done. Pause it. Oh, it, pause Jimmy it. kept taking his money. That's my understanding. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's suspect here. Guys, this is 100% real. This is 100% what happened. Gavin and I got a mysterious $1,000 donation from a guy. And then as soon as we started making it, was, it was literally, I believe, right after we made the like Jimmy Dore, Bojack Horseman infamous video uh, where we went after it. We, we had like Jimmy Dore, like fucking, uh, uh, you know, anamorphizing into uh, uh, Bojack Horseman, which was fucking hilarious. One of the greatest pieces of graphic art humor Gavin's uh, put forth uh, for this, <laughs> this fine program. Uh, but yeah, it pulled the plug on it, right? And it wasn't when uh, we expected that pl pl barrel to fall because we sort of, we kept getting, it, we didn't know where it was coming from. And we actually reached out to this person to try and get it back, but they had never made any contact with us. So we thought it was sus. But I mean, hey, man, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. We were like, hey, man, nobody's buying our fucking, you know, uh, this is a random patron. Maybe they're a big fan, right? So this is our, you know, brain, whatever. Uh, you know, plus, we were like, fuck yeah, we can pay rent, bro. Like, we were so stoked. Like, our patron aunt was, like, literally paying our rent, which has never happened again for us, obviously. Um, so we were like, holy shit, like, we just don't have to worry about rent. Like, we felt like rich people. Like, we didn't have to think about bills. We were like, I know my rent is going to be paid at the end of every month. Like, you know, so you can see what, how that bias things from, like, uh, you know, people who are just getting their media career off the ground. You can see how that's a huge incentive for somebody if they know that they're going to be able to pay their rent every month and they don't have to, they can do everything else that they get is, like, their money now, right? They, they have their rent taken care of, okay? powerful incentive but uh we it, it, it stayed after everybody that was in our like hardcore jimmy audience failed because we disagreed with him over interviewing brian grimm about the fucking infrastructure bill pathetic uh reason to melt down in the first place but jimmy did anyway we were we were still getting that random contribution every month it wasn't until we started uh like really going hard and like roasting the anti-vax crowd of the left uh that it disappeared and then we started hearing from other lefties like oh yeah dude this is the people that are getting this money from billionaires, uh, they're all going down the anti-vax rabbit hole, right? I would, I can't say this for sure. I know that this guy is giving people money and I would trust that Graham Elwood's not lying when he says that Peter Allard's giving it to Jimmy. If he was giving it to us, uh, uh, he was definitely giving it to Jimmy and I would imagine even more than the 5,000 he was previously giving Jimmy a month. But you got to think that's 60 grand a year. That's a lot of fucking money. A lot of fucking money. Okay, uh, right now our highest tier Patreon is Susan Sarandon. She gives us 50 bucks a month, okay? And she's fabulously wealthy and we're deeply appreciative of that. But, like, we can be transparent with you guys. There's a reason the guys at the Gray Zone will not come out. And they say, oh, well, we've got some close friends that we don't want to be smeared in the media. Uh, and that's why we're not, like, following this one rule that we demand and deem critical for everyone else, bro. Just like every other facet of their fucking entire political ideology. Uh, but anyway, of course, that, I, I would wager that that's the guy that's giving them money. I I would bet my house and every dime I have and my fucking title to my fiesta that, uh, you know, literally every piece of value I own that Jackson Hinkle's getting money from this guy. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't want to reveal the people who have told us about this. Uh, you know, that's not our place in this time. Uh, you know, those are those are background sources. But yeah, it's an out secret in the YouTuber world. Like everybody knows who's getting money from. Uh, I don't know if it's just uh, Peter Allard, but there's certainly billionaire influence. And that's one of the things like the left is so quick. And honestly, the new independent media movement writ large is so quick uh, to write off corporate media as being bought off and paid for in shill media, but absolutely refuses to acknowledge the fact that audience capture is basically just as perverse because they they now are your boss. They are your employer. Right. And it's all because of the perverse incentive structure of a capitalist system. Right. Capitalism is the problem at the at the crux of all of this. And it just manifests itself in a different way when you have to say specific things to make money to survive, right, to put food on the table, to keep the lights on, to have air conditioning, right? This is a motivator to say stuff that you know will continue to get your paycheck, right? And, uh, and, I'm, and, and I think everybody has a different line with which they're willing to play that game. Gavin and I have taken a firm line. Graham Elwood, his credit, man. Uh, I disagree with him on all the Bitcoin shit, but this guy is saying exactly what the fuck he believes, and I have a lot of respect for that.
Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So you know, just to be clear, there technically is not like ironclad proof of this, except um, for Graham our personal Elwood. experience. We are literally yeah. like evidence right here. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, technically, the I mean, there's no technical proof that the guy who was donating to us a thousand dollars a month was Peter Allard. I just want to be clear, you know, like yeah. like I don't technically have proof of that. He did stop giving us a thousand dollars a month on Patreon literally as soon as we criticized Jimmy Dore for going down the anti-vax rabbit hole. Um, so definitely a lot of suspicious connections. But I just you know I just want to make sure that that is all out there. Um, also, Peter Allard did die in twenty. 22 i'm not sure why probably because he was so anti-vax just taking a guess but um uh so it, he does seem to be no longer you know he's dead so I, I don't think he's currently funding anyone maybe his you know organization is maybe his you know current acolytes are continuing his project who knows just wanted those facts to be out there um but i 100 percent believe graham elwood and maybe if this was the first time i was hearing this information I would perhaps be a little bit more skeptical of it. Um, but again, without throwing anyone else under the bus, we have heard this exact same information from other people who I trust even more than Graham Elwood, whose you know, journalistic credentials I actually do really, really trust. Um, so yeah, I, I totally 100% believe this to be true. And I think it 100% com obviously compromised is Jimmy's credibility on this issue. And it really you know, explains why so many seemingly you know sensical progressives just went down this insane rabbit hole not just because there was a lot of money to be made and clicks to be had but because they were literally being funded they were literally you know getting massive massive donations from billionaires uh, to to push this bullshit and of course it's ironic because they claim everyone else is funded by billionaires and everyone else is reading talking points um when in reality of course that was all projection yeah, I, I just thought it was interesting. I googled this guy after you said that he died, and I read his Vancouver uh, Sun obituary. And I put obviously I put it up on screen there for anybody who's watching. But uh, yeah, news buff right in the intro. That uh, that seems to be another dot connector, right? Uh, like uh, I'm just saying, uh, it seems to, it seems like it, it might be likely. And also, if he was a billionaire, that means you know there's still a lot of his money out there trickling around. There's still somebody uh, with the levers of power. Perhaps somebody that was uh, sharing his. Uh, you know, political agenda, his vision, whatever the fuck it was. And I'm not saying it's against the law. These guys aren't committing a crime, right? They're just bullshitting you and they're playing you all like fucking idiots, right? That's what they're doing. A lot of people want to fall for that shit. Like all of Jimmy's audience, they don't care. They can find out he's getting a fuckload of billionaire uh, money and, and they just won't care. Even after they've watched him harangue Ryan Grimm and all these other, you know, uh, literal, actual, serious journalists for, you know, working at The Intercept and taking money from Piero Midiar, even though Piero Midiar doesn't have the direct oversight, like it's through a fucking... Uh, you know, First Look Media, which has a board and all of this stuff. And Glenn himself worked there for a while. And up until, you know, uh, the Hunter Biden stuff, I think he said that that was the first and, and only time he'd ever experienced real censorship, which is why he quit, because he wasn't going to tolerate that ever. Um, right. Um, so anyway, uh, sh shout out to Jordan. OK, uh, because Jordan, I did not want to tell everybody that you had told me this. And I was like, I don't want Jordan to get in the mud. But if you're OK with it, knowing this. I can confirm this. Jimmy introduced Allard to me years ago. Allard was paying him and a few others 5K a month. That's exactly what Graham Elwood said. And I know Graham knew Jimmy really well. So shout out to you, Jordan. You know, did not want to give you away as our good source there. But yeah, uh, this guy's kept his ear to the ground for a while and he knows where the bodies are buried. Shout out to you, Jordan. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised at all. And I guarantee you that he was fucking giving us a thousand bucks a month until we decided that we didn't care about his stupid fucking... I mean, not only that, it wasn't like we didn't care about his money. We didn't care about any of the money we were getting. We knew that that was going to be like a necessary consequence of uh, of upburning that. So it's like our Patreon went from like $2,000 a month to like fucking $500 a month. We were like, LOL, yep. back to not paying rent. Yep. And just imagine taking fucking billionaire money on a monthly basis. Even Bernie Sanders like returned the one donation he got from like a billionaire. Remember, uh, it was like some you know good meaning, good hearted billionaire that was like, I you know I I'm a, I want to be a class trader and donated to Bernie. Bernie was like, nope, I don't want your fucking money, dude. Dude, dude and in on a small scale, Eric Bunch, the guy I voted for for city council, right? That I told you guys I was like, well, I fucking you know helped the guy pass out flyers, but he was really like, I'm gonna make your cement better, like your sidewalk better, whatever the fuck it was, you know. Whatever, but he got you know Mac property, which fucking destroyed uh you know the whole like armor midtown neighborhood, um bought up the whole fucking thing anyway. 
he also returned the donation he got from those fuckers because KC tenants would never fucking work with him when they found out that he had been approached yeah. by Mag Properties for a donation and he returned it to them with like absolutely yeah. not. It's not worth like compromising. Because there are no good fucking billionaires. Like, come on. It's not, oh, I found the one good one that's actually progressive and, and that's why he's funding my content. I'm the exception to the rule and everyone else is corrupt, but you know, my me and my billionaire buddy, um, you know, we're, 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 we're straight. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to you, Jordan. Thank you so much for that super chat, man. Um, really appreciate that. And, and just in case, by the way, anyone's just tuning in that doesn't quite understand the context of what we're talking about, let's quickly replay the Graham Elwood video. I disagreeing with Jimmy. If I just, if I just, all I cared about was money, I'd, I'd agree with him. But I'm not going to do that. I am only going to talk about what I believe in. And I don't, if you don't believe me or you don't like me, whatever, I'm saying what I believe in. No one's in my ear. Okay. And I know Jimmy was getting money from Peter Allard, who is a billionaire that was paying some indie, he was supposedly progressive. He was paying Jimmy what I was told was five grand a month. And then I heard this Peter Allard guy during the whole vaccine thing in 2021 told at several shows that he was paying. Hey, I need you to push this anti-vaccine stuff. And several of the shows said, I don't want your money more. We're done. And Jimmy kept taking his money. That's my understanding. So there's a lot of stuff that's suspect here. 